You always want competition and drama in any athletic event. When Joey started to dominate the sport, you wonder whether, what is the story? Because Joey's always going to win. And then he lost to Matt Stoney, and that was extremely uh, dramatic and extremely fun to watch. Matt Stoney will always be a threat to Joey Chestnut. Well, clearly my biggest challengers are Matt Stoney. He, that guy can eat like an animal. He's fast, he's fit, he's hungry. He's a great competitor. He's, he's figured out his body, he's figured out a great technique. I mean, my training, just in a nutshell, I'm eating a lot of hot dogs, getting used to the technique, making it second nature. Obviously with the Nathan's contest, you know, you go to the store, you can buy the hot dogs and cook them up, but you gotta cook them at the right temperature, slow cook them, steam them a little bit, like they do at the, uh, the event, and it makes a humongous difference. Matthew Stoney, 59! Joey Chestnut, 57! And now he stands in Joey's spot as the champion of the world! Matt Stoney is clearly the future of the sport. However, Carmen Cincotti, who is a newcomer, is right there now with Matt Stoney. Yeah, Carmen Cincotti, uh, I'll, I'll tell you this much, I put a lot of thought. I, I, Car Carmen is definitely on my radar, radar. He's doing a lot better than I was the first couple years when I started this. So I was born the 4th of July, and uh, every year I would watch the ESPN coverage of the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest, and uh, I always wanted to go. So signed up and uh, did horribly. Ate 13 hot dogs my first try and uh, got bit by the bug. Karma Sakai just came out of nowhere and just shocked everybody. I mean, he just consistently upped his game. And, and I'm just proud of that. I'm proud of the kid. To, to get better, I had to keep working. And uh, I want to be the best. I want to be Joey Chestnut. And I know what it takes. And I'm just going to have to keep working for it. Carmen Zincotti, he's, he's a great competitive eater with very ambitious speed. This guy has speed that's certain foods. He's, he's way faster than me. Uh, hot dogs, I don't think he's faster than me. I grew up watching Joey, and I guess the starstruckness is now gone. Now he's a competitor, and I just want to kiss that mustard belt with him right next to me, looking at it. I want to destroy him. With 53 Nathan's famous hot dogs and buns in 10 minutes, last year's champion, Matthew Stoney. My victory in 2015, I think it, it brought this like interest. Like there's gonna be a competition, it's gonna be a grudge match every year. It's not just gonna be watching Joey Chestnut go for a new world record. I humanized Joey. Losing to Matt Stoney, it made him seem beatable. But at that time, it was a nice wake up call for everybody to see, you know what, even the best are not invincible. It's nice to see over the last two years specifically, uh, you know, you have Gideon OG, you have myself, you have Jeff Esper, you have Carmen Sincati who really like rounded out the field. With Joey's loss, it kind of spurred a, a new crop of people to show up and get really, really good. I, I understand people think it created more competition and it was more exciting for fans, but I think my fans, they were disappointed in me. <laughs> I think my fans wanted to see me win. It definitely made me work harder. And the, the, the guy who went to the 4th of July in 2016 was not the same as 2015. When I go to Coney Island on the 4th of July this year, I'm not going to be the guy I was in 2015. And I'm, hopefully I'm going to improve on, on the numbers I did in 2016. I mean, at this point now, it's just a matter of me putting my name on that wall that I won. It means everything. I, I won it. You know, that's, that's, that's the goal. You know, that's what gets me up in the morning to train. He's got that target on his back, and I'm coming for him for sure. Without a doubt, he's a competitor. He's going to be pushing myself and Joey this year. He's, he's on my radar. I'm watching out for him. See, it's never just one person. When Joey's gone, there will be another battle. Right now, the battle is between Joey and Matt and probably Carmen. In the future, it will be between Matt and Carmen and someone else.